Hello artists! Right now I'm going to show you guys how to draw a cute unicorn. So the first thing we're going to do is starting on the side of the page, you're going to start with a nice pointy triangle, but instead of making it straight across, we are going to round it. <clears throat> After we make our little unicorn horn, we're going to draw a nice oval around it. After we do that, we are going to add the ears. So we're going to add two ovals for the ears. One and two. This one's more like a bump. What we can do is an erase for that oval. So now we have the shape of the head. We're going to then draw the neck. Two lines down. And the body is going to be like an oval. I'll just draw lightly over here. Now we can erase this line and this line. So now we have the head, neck, and body. Erase my smudge marks there. What we're going to do next, you can draw a nice little eye, you can draw an oval, you can draw another oval in it, you can make it a cute eye by adding two circles in it, give a little nose for a circle, and then add the mouth. Now we're going to work on the legs. So the legs are going to be a little different. You're going to draw two straight lines down. But at the end of the leg, you're going to make it curved. And draw a line with a hoof. So you're going to do that again. This one's right behind it. So you're going to draw another line with a hoof. And then we're going to draw another line straight down. And then add a hoof. Now this leg I want to have going up, so I'm going to draw a leg, uh, like the knee, kind of curved. And then going down. So you're going to draw it diagonally out and then down. And then you're going to do a curve and you're going to mimic the same line and then out. And we can make that curve right there. I'm going to fix that one. It's okay to make mistakes. All right. Now I can erase the line here and just erase a little bit of the line there and then release this line but not this one because it's behind it. So now I have my legs. Now I'm going to be adding some of the details like the tail and the mane. So the mane can have come up, draw a little bump like that and erase the extra lines from your oval. Next, we can draw some hair in front of the ear, drawing kind of pointy, wavy lines for the mane. Draw a couple lines down so you can have spots to color. Now we're going to work on the tail, so you're going to add kind of a C shape, but at the end of the C you're going to make it into almost a curve of an S, and then go back up, and then you can draw a couple lines going down. 
And remember we shouldn't have a floating unicorn, so always add a cute little background. So you have something for your unicorn to stand on, if he's in the meadow, mountains or trees, add some details in the background, of course. Thanks for watching!